So that feeling of excitement you receive when you get a certain notification into a news, it's like a rush of joy and anticipation all mixed up together. But it's very important to not let that feeling cloud your judgment. There are certain steps or things you should do before heading to the university. If this happens to be your first time watching my YouTube channel, this is a lot to have. Please like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. So, the first thing you need to do when heading to the university is to ask questions about the program and the university you are going into. Sometimes the stories we hear from relatives and friends and seniors from senior high school or wherever tend to create a rosy picture of university life. But you'll be shocked that it's not actually the same way on the grounds. <laughs> <laughs> so it is very important to get as much as information before you head into the university. So one great way of doing this is by asking seniors from your senior high school who happen to be in a current university you are going into or a student within your neighborhood church, social club, or wherever you find yourself, and most importantly, your teachers, of course, it'll be that way they know you have me. So, then, uh, if for if for banker them, so they will teach you. Now, by asking these people, you get vulnerable insights into their dress code, the attitude of professors and lecturers towards teaching and learning, and how classes are conducted in your specific faculty. You know, be see, I know toxic, make you know where dress will make you feel better. So, by you in quite low fashion, so you go take anything go, take go Still go. If you both swipe, still go. So when it comes to connecting of classes in the university, yes, in the university we have timetable that we all follow. But your timetable does not mean your timetable. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Shock your timetable is not your timetable. <laughs> your timetable not be your timetable. <laughs> but because the lecturer can schedule class at any time, any day. You see, the whole thing about university is the availability of your lecture. If it is available, fine, classes will fully. But if it's not available, forget. Sometimes, two weeks, one week, yeah, you never see your lecture. It'll be normal. It'll be fresh. I'm in pro. I'm in pro. But every two or one, that will be full. So it's like that. Although classes are started, people are the shy type, and you feel like you can't ask people, and I don't mean trim bang, you can't ask them all these questions. You can do your own personal research online by visiting the school's official websites or web page. So I know University of Ghana has one. I know if UCC has one. In fact, all the schools in Ghana has one. You your school, you don't get official website or web page there. Then you know your school. <laughs> yeah. Or you can also do your personal research once again by joining your social media groups of the university that you're really interested in. So you can join them on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Wherever you find them on social media. Main reason you're asking this question is for you to gather as much as information as you can, for you to have a clear picture of what to expect when you start the university. Talk about making informed decisions to make you ready for the journey ahead. The second thing you need to do before heading to the university is to please try not to pack too many stuff. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to be lagging around on campus with heavy bags and boxes. All right. I learned that the hard way. Hmm. I learned that the hard way was at a kai. Here's a tip. Pack only the essentials. I mean, think of the things that you necessarily need for your classroom, dorm room. Hey! Sorry, 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 sorry. Invested for hostel room. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. <laughs> <laughs> things that you really need for your classroom, hostel room, and your daily life. So things like bathing, clothes, toiletries, school supplies, they are a must, but try to avoid overpacking with unnecessary stuff. Remember that you have a limited storage in your dorm room. Hey, sorry. Oh, yeah. oh, nice. Fuck you, shit, man! In your hostel room. In your hostel room. So the reason why this is very important, traditional hostels that are provided by the university Talking about schools like Ligon and Kofu, they are talking about kind of university like for ministers. They have a maximum of eight people in a room. So you go carry play deep things, where they go TikTok. And if they can't TikTok my body, I will, I will, I will sweep on my way. It'd be simple. <laughs> It'd be simple. <laughs> Keep your things organized and crucial for yourself because you don't know who you might import. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it.
I mean, you don't know who will come and visit you. Yeah, like your parents, friends. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. yeah. You don't know who might come and visit you. <laughs> Plus, when you settle in, you get a better sense of what you actually need. So you end up buying more things for yourself. So you don't want to create that messy room with your bar. Yeah. Well, the third thing you should do before heading to the university is trying not to impress. Sometimes it is common for some people to feel the pressure or the need to show off or fit into a certain lifestyle. Some people go to the extent of buying expensive gadgets and designer clothes. But here's the thing. Trying to keep up with such lifestyles or such things can be very stressful and unsustainable. So here's my advice to you. Focus on yourself. Take time to explore your interest. Join clubs and organizations. Attend workshops and seminars that will expand your knowledge. Surround yourself with people who will inspire you. Seek out mentors and advisors that will guide you. University is a melting pot of diverse culture, backgrounds and perspectives. There is a lot you could learn from everywhere, anywhere, at any time. It's a great opportunity for you to learn video editing, marketing, trading. Everything you wanted to learn since you were a child but never had a time. University provided that platform to do everything you want to do. The fourth and last thing you need to do before heading to the university is you can't actually do it before going to the university, but you need to know it and do it when you are in the university. Fourth thing is stay safe. We have all dream of leaving the house of our parents at a point in life, whether you like it or not. <laughs> we want to distance ourselves from our parents. Therefore, people always take the opportunity university offers them. But you need to stay safe. What do I mean by this? Plan your outing. Before you are going out, let a friend or a roommate know where you are going to. And the time he or she is to expect you to be back. Also, stay connected. It's very important to always keep your phones charged. Keep your phones charged and have emergency contacts saved. Then, familiarize yourself with campus security. And also, the last thing you need to know about staying safe on campus is watch what you eat or drink. For instance, can you say over a cup of tea and you eat a cup of tea? Say it again. I know you hear what you stop. Speak it again. Can you go for tea? So when you are at a party or a gathering, be cautious about accepting drinks from strangers. Keep your eye on your beverage at all times. Don't ever take your eyes off it. So I advise you to buy this cup. I don't has has it popped up? Yeah, has <laughs> to buy that cup. Maybe you don't want people to know the contents of what you are holding. So it's soft drink or things. Thank you for staying with me and watching through this video. If you liked the content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. Share with a friend and follow us on all the social media platforms. This is your boy Eugene and this is Slotia. Thank you very much for watching.